Have you heard of the M1128 Striker mobile gun systems, or simply called the Striker? It is an eight-wheeled armored vehicle built based on the Canadian L of V3 armored vehicle. It was originally well known as the Battlefield Wheeled Armored Vehicle of 21st Century and served as the main equipment of the U.S. Army Striker Light Armored Combat Brigade. However, in May 2022, the U.S. Army suddenly announced that the M1128 Striker would be phased out by the end of fiscal year 2022. So, what makes this vehicle as an undisputed star weapon in the Striker family? And why do you think it will be phased out? Hello everyone, you are watching a new episode of Military TV Today. We will talk about the M1128 Striker Mobile Gun Systems, a striker wheeled vehicle that was acclaimed for its excellent mobility as well as precise firepower, and was considered as the deadliest ground vehicle in the urban battle. Introduced in early 2000s by General Dynamics Land Systems, the M1128 Striker Mobile Gun Systems, MGS, is one of 10 variants of the Striker fleet which combines versatility, survivability, lethality, and maneuverability to perform a wide range of missions. The M1128 Striker was specially designed for low-intensity combats and takes several of the most important battle tank missions. Thus, these capabilities of this Striker enable the Army to project combat power everywhere on Earth within 96 hours, including providing direct fire support for infantry units. This armored vehicle is also capable of breaching wall and bunker, allowing it to eliminate enemy vehicles, equipment, and protected positions. The first pre-production deliveries of the M1128 vehicle commenced in 2002, and it came into service with the U.S. Army in 2007. Now, let's take a look at the features of the M1128 Striker as a standout weapon among its variants. First, Engine. The M1128 Striker is powered by Caterpillar 3126 diesel engine, producing 350 horsepower. Its engine and transmission can be removed and reinstalled in less than an hour, resulting in the Striker's high efficiency in critical situation. Moreover, this vehicle uses 8x8 armored personnel carrier chassis and can be airlifted in combat-ready condition by C-130 Hercules and bigger military transport aircraft such as the C-5A, C-17, and C-141. This striker, however, is not amphibious, although it can forward to a depth of 1.7 meter, similar to recent versions of the LAV on which it is originally based. Second, armor. The striker's armor is designed to withstand small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. A complex composite Kevlar spall liner is also put in place immediately beneath the striker bodywork, providing an additional layer of blast-proof protection on the inside. The spall liner prevents armor-piercing ballistic rounds and any metal spall pieces from penetrating the vehicle's interior and injuring occupants inside. Furthermore, this M1128 vehicle can be equipped with add-on composite armor to guard against 14.5mm rounds, as well as add-on slat armor to protect against RPG rockets. The Striker is also installed with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems, making it reliable for detecting the radiant heat from the fire to automatically activate the system and direct the extinguishing agents into the fire source. Third, Armament. Operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver, the M1128 vehicle fires high explosive, anti-tank, and canister rounds from a low-profile, completely stabilized turret built within the Striker chassis, allowing the vehicle to fire accurately even while moving. The Striker unmanned turret is armed with a powerful firepower M68, a 1E4 105mm rifled gun as the main armament. This gun is a modified version of the autoloader fitted tank gun used on the M1 Abrams and M60 series main battle tanks, making the M1128 Striker the first U.S. Army system to be fielded with an autoloader. 
Despite its anti-tank capability as mentioned earlier, the M1128 Striker is initially intended to help troops. Unless the tank is attacked from the flanks or rear, its 105mm gun provides minimal threat against current main battle tanks. This is mainly because there are only 18 rounds of the main gun carried by the striker, while secondary armament consists of 400 rounds of 0.50mm, as well as 3,400 rounds of 7.62mm caliber ammunition. Given that the M1128 striker has those complex features in power, no wonder that this vehicle has historically high mission availability rates. Since it was first developed in the beginning of 2000s, the M1128 has become state-of-the-art technology and provided significant capabilities to the U.S. Army. For over 15 years, this armored vehicle has been used by striker brigade combat teams to deliver direct assistance to the troops by destroying or suppressing hardened enemy bunkers, machine guns, and sniper positions in urban, confined, and open rolling terrain. However, the U.S. Army officials have stated that it is planning to divest all of its striker mobile gun systems by the end of fiscal 2022. The main reason for this is due to the out-of-date the M1128 cannon and the systemic issues with its automatic loader. This striker was designed with a flat-bottom chassis and was never updated to deal with improvised explosive devices or anti-tank weapons. To make it worse, the M1128 vehicle has been out of production for years, while maintaining the autoloader has now become really expensive. Most of the components required to sustain the M1128 Striker, on the other hand, are also needed to support other Striker variants. Therefore, after examining the system's vulnerabilities of the M1128 Striker, the Army officials decided that the service money would be better spent on modernizing other Striker family components, such as the medium caliber weapon system, the common remotely operated weapons station javelin, the anti-tank guided missile updates, and the 30mm cannon. In addition, until the M1128 is totally retired, the Army will continue to sustain and field other variants in Striker family, including the double V hull and vehicles with lethality enhancements. This vehicle is a different variation of Striker. Uh, everyone that runs this vehicle is a 19 kilo uh, tank crewman, armor crewman. And we are used to shooting tanks and riding in tanks. So it's a little different, a different feel. Uh, uh, it has a more kickback when you fire the main gun. So what do you think about this matter? Do you agree on the Army's plan to retire their powerful firepower M1128 mobile gun system? Please let us know down in the comment below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.